Hello guys, today I want to quickly tell you about the optimization of our Tailwind and Livewire version of Quick Admin Panel. And specifically, if you want to add some styles, some CSS styles, Tailwind styles, but they wouldn't work by default. And I want to explain why, because in our case, in the Tailwind theme, we use purging and you need to add external path to the CSS classes. How does it all work and what is the problem? Let me demonstrate you. So while creating another demo project for a different topic, I was trying to create a calendar. So on our quick admin panel, we have two calendar modules, system calendar and tasks plus calendar, and they both use JavaScript library called full calendar. I don't want it to experiment to change that to the live wire, specifically this package of live wire calendar with drag and drop. And when I tried to do that, it says that it uses Tailwind CSS for base styling under the hood. And that's totally fine. But when I tried to replace in the index blade, the calendar div with live wire tasks calendar, the styles weren't there. So here's how it looks. Here's the full calendar JavaScript library calendar. And here's the calendar without styling by Tailwind. Why is that? Under the hood, if we inspect some elements, it seems like it's using typical Tailwind classes. So for example, what was missing is min w full wasn't rendered for some reason, although it's typical from Tailwind. So the thing is that when compiling the CSS for quick admin panel generated code in the Tailwind config, we specifically describe the blade files to be purged. And purging is a Tailwind way to minify the CSS with only the classes that you actually use in the code. So the final CSS file is your individual CSS file minified using the tool called purge CSS, this one. And the configuration is that you specifically define in Tailwind config CSS, which folders and files to include to be scanned for the CSS classes. So by default, if you try to add any library, any package in the vendor that uses CSS classes that are not in the blade, they wouldn't work by default. The solution is pretty simple. You need to add the folder and the files that you want to be used. So in our case, it's in vendor. So vendor, livewire calendar, folder. So in here in this array, we need to add dot vendor, then all the full path. And then you have a choice whether to describe it as star.blade.php or if there are subfolders potentially now or in the future you can add any subfolder and then blade. So this is the third option in our array and now we need to rerun npm run dev in our case. So 92.4 kilobytes it was app CSS. Let's see whether it will be a bit bigger now after recompiling. 93 kilobytes. So this is kind of a proof that something was added, right? And now if we refresh that page, let's close the console, refresh. And as you can see, the calendar at the bottom is styled well with the CSS classes added. So this is kind of a small tip how to customize the Tailwind in our case of Cook Admin Panel or in general in any Tailwind project based on Laravel or even without Laravel. Hope it's helpful and see you guys in other videos.